So good afternoon, everyone. I'm Zheng Xiangfang from Tsinghua University of China. Um, my topic today is about uh, the no, uh, low noise drive of a micro machine Renault accelerometer with separated sensing and actuation. Uh, here is my content. I will talk my work with the introduction of, of the MI and uh, the motivation of the uh, low noise drive design, and uh, then it's the design of the MI with separated sensing and actuation, and uh, then the uh, uh, experimental results. And last one is the summary. Mm -hmm. uh, Microelectrical uh, mechanical system accelerometers uh, have gradually uh, replace the uh, traditional accelerometers uh, in many fields, uh, such as uh, 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 consumer electronics and uh, weaponry uh, for its small size, uh, low power consumption, and uh, low cost. Uh, my work is concentrated on the uh, micro machine Renault accelerometer. Uh, in short, for MI, uh, the MI is current the input acceleration to frequency change. And uh, it has several benefits, such as uh, high resolution, light dynamic range, and the digital output, uh, which shows great potential in high precision uh, initial navigation and uh, weapon uh, guidance. Mm. Uh, now, I introduce how the MI works uh, when the input acceleration applies in the uh, central direction of the MI. Uh, one Renault beam is under tension, and another one is under compression. Uh, the Renault frequency of the vibration beam uh, is linear with the input acceleration in a certain range. Uh, so uh, uh, the differential frequency of the two beams uh, can be served as an indication of the input acceleration. Uh, here is the interface electronics of our system. Uh, the capstan detection is realized by a, a ring type dial demodulation, and the amplitude automatic control loop can maintain the stability uh, of the vibration beam amplitude. Uh, to make the system work, uh, the whole uh, loop gain shall be one, and the loop phase shift is 2 m pi and uh, the frequency of the output signal is recorded by a frequency counter, and uh, the sampling rate in our work is uh, one hertz. Uh, now I just the motivation of my work. Um, in our former work, uh, frequency noise can be reduced uh, when the red noter is meeting at uh, optimal noise level. Uh, however, extremely very low dry wattage, typically at about uh, uh, 10 milliwatts in our formal work has be, to be applied. Uh, so uh, the response, re, uh, the not response uh, can be uh, directed by the inherited drive signal noise. And uh, we want to, to increase the drive signal, uh, to increase the dry wattage uh, uh, in optimal uh, noise level. Uh, it means that we want to uh, right shift, uh, right shift uh, the optimal noise point in this finger. Uh, and uh, the drive signal noise will have less impact on the drive signal. Uh, and uh, then we can improve the noise performance. Um, to reduce the drive induced frequency measurement noise, uh, a, new, a new design is printed in my work, uh, which allows high dry wattage uh, for the same vibration amplitude. Uh, the design makes two main changes. And uh, one is separated the drive and sensing electrolytes, and another one is to increase uh, the ratio of sensing to drive teeth. Uh, and uh, the purpose of the design is to decrease the drive sensitivity. And the, the MRE device is fabricated by the silicon glass uh, process and uh, is sealed by the Wicam package with the gentle. Uh, uh, some performance, 
uh, some performance of the MIA device are listed on the table. Uh, the quality factor is about 200,000 and uh, the runoff frequency about 20 kilohertz. Uh, the scale factor of uh, my device is 244 hertz per G. Uh, after the whole system is set up, um, I want to make compression uh, between separate mode and the multiplex mode uh, in the same device. Uh, the multiplex uh, mode and the separate mode can be realized uh, by connecting the or connecting or separating the drive and the sensing electrode wires and uh, uh, the vibration amplitude of the radiator can be changed by adjusting uh, uh, by adjusting uh, uh, by adjusting the reference vo voltage Mm. First, uh, I compare the drive voltage in the two modes for the same vibration amplitude. Um, by changing the uh, reference voltage, uh, the vibration amplitude of the radiator is the range from uh, about 30 nanometer to 500 nanometer. And uh, for the same voltage of the amplitude, the drive voltage in separate mode is about five times larger as the that in multiplex mode. And uh, in our work uh, point, the dry voltage in multiplex mode uh, is 20.6 uh, uh, milli uh, volt, and uh, in separate mode, uh, it's about uh, uh, 62.7 milli volt. Mm, and uh, then the uh, output frequency noise is ca uh, are calculated by the average, uh, the standard devi deviation for every uh, 60 days uh, of the uh, output frequency. Mm, more than one hour uh, of the test time is closed in every condition. And uh, in the result, uh, we can find that uh, the uh, vibration effect is about uh, uh, 150 uh, nanometer in minimal noise level, and uh, at the minimal noise level, auto frequency noise reduced about 30% uh, compared to the uh, formal one. And uh, to know the noise level of the drive signal and the, the sense signal, uh, I do the spectrum an analysis in vicinity of the Reynolds frequency. Uh, first, uh, first, the drive signal noise uh, power spectral density is recorded. Uh, as the drive uh, voltage is in separated mode, it's at five times as that in multiplex mode. Uh, so the uh, power, uh, power spectral density uh, result in a separate mode uh, it's divided by five times to make a compression. And uh, it can be seen that uh, the average of the uh, power spectral density of the drive signal noise uh, uh, in separate mode is lower. Also, uh, the sensing signal, uh, uh, sensing signal uh, uh, power uh, spectral density is also test. Uh, fortunately, uh, uh, fortunately, the sensing signal noise in separate mode is also lower. Uh, so uh, we can see that uh, the signal to noise ratio in separate mode is better. And uh, to investigate the relationship between sensing signal noise and uh, the drive uh, signal noise, a series of white noise generated by a signal generator are uh, added uh, to the drive signal. Uh, uh, from, the, from the data, sensing signal noise is positively correct, uh, correct, corrective with the uh, uh, drive signal noise. And uh, then I use a curve fitting in my lab. Uh, re the results show that the square of the uh, sensing signal noise, PSD, is uh, linear with the square of the uh, 
a PST of the job signal noise. And also the uh, experiment is done in multiplex mode. Uh, the ratio of the experimental coefficient k uh, in two mode is close to five, uh, and it is close to the uh, ratio of the dry voltage in the two mode. So the sensing signal noise can be improved uh, with a better uh, signal to noise ratio of the drive signal. And finally, the stability uh, performance. Uh, the time duration of the bias stability uh, is uh, uh, 6,000 seconds under room temperature. Uh, after 20 minutes thermal balance process, uh, the output frequency tends to be steady, uh, and uh, the uh, bias stability reduced from uh, 1.3 uh, micro g to 1.05 micro g, and uh, the uh, noise. Uh, performance in the insert figure of separate mode shows the lower peak to peak amplitude. And uh, the minimum of the Allen warnings indicates the uh, bias instability, which limits the resolution of the MI device. Uh, it's also reduced about uh, uh, 30%. And uh, here is my summary. Uh, for the right that frequency noise of the MIA device can be uh, reduced with improved signal to noise ratio of the drive signal. And uh, then it means that uh, it's an efficient uh, method to reduce uh, frequency noise by design of the MIA with separate sensing and actuation. And uh, uh, by compared with the uh, conventional multiplex uh, electrode design, uh, the, uh, the noise performance uh, can be reduced uh, in this work. And thank you. <laughs>